Jamal Finkley, Black Tree TV. Hi, Joy. Hi, Will. You? Hi, Ke Hi, Cassie. How are you? How are you? Uh? Hi. Good. How are you? We're good. Pretty good. So I guess I'll start with you, Joy. Let, what, what's what's harder, landing a 747 in, the, in, in bad weather or finding out who the mole is? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I fly an Airbus, uh, A320, A321. Um, I would say finding out who the mole is 100%. 100%. That was the most incredible, uh, daunting, arduous task that I've ever done in my life. But I'm so thrilled to have been a part of this amazing cast, an amazing show. I wouldn't trade it for the world. And I had the backing from my family, especially my husband and my son, who pushed me to do it. And I'm so very thankful for my family. I know that you that you uh, that you lost that you had a, a big weight loss that you went through, um, and I know that's like real challenging. Like getting through that 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 task was that something that made you want to do something more competitive like that? Because I know you did some of that on social media. Like, did you? want to turn up and do this Netflix show? Like, was that part of the motivation? <laughs> you know what, for sure. Uh, my social media is about my journey uh, from losing 60 pounds to, you know, looking like this. And um, also, it was the reason why I was casted. So someone reached out to me from casting. They saw my fitness journey. They saw that I was an airline pilot and asked me if I would want to do the show. And it was a no brainer. I absolutely said 100%. Uh, this is a show that my family and I would bond over when I was a kid. And, you know, unfortunately, my mom passed away three years ago, three and a half years ago. And but I know she's rooting for me from heaven. And unfortunately, she couldn't she won't be able to or she sees me in heaven sitting here at the finale. And it all came together full circle. And like I said, I'm so thankful to be here. Um, William, I know you got hurt during one of the the challenges. Like, did do you feel like people, you, the other contestants, felt because you got injured? Did do you feel like people trusted you more or trusted you less after that little situation? Um, I think you know, for a lot of them, it would split 50-50. and I can't I can't speak for everybody, but I think there's an aspect of a lot of people thought like, I think it's just really convenient that like he accidentally hurt himself while looking like he's trying so hard. And then there's the aspect where people are like, no, this dude will just do anything to get money and you know, ripped himself up on, on the Great Barrier Reef. So I really think it's split the group 50-50. There's just a lot of people that for some reason <laughs> could not believe me. They were like, no, nah, something about this guy's not right. Yeah, yeah. And, and Cassie, uh, I know you did engineering at Columbia, tough school to, uh, you know, do that that type of curriculum. Um, what what was harder? I do the being a middle blocker and taking on an attack from a, you know, a top team, uh, finishing your coursework in Columbia, or finding out who the mole is. Ah, <laughs> uh, that is a great question. I would have to say. Honestly, playing volleyball, majoring in computer science engineering at Columbia University is harder than finding the mole. But I also think it helped to prepare me to find the mole. So it's a catch-22. I know, I know your, your father was part of the Freedom Singers and did a lot of civil rights uh, uh, you know, activism. How, how, how proud, I mean, how proud of it would he beat uh just I mean how proud is he to see to see where you are now doing all this great stuff you're doing with Goldman Sachs and being on TV and everything else like how how does that feel to? Whoa, that's a great know, question. Shine after your dad. <laughs> that's gonna make me emotional. Um, that's a, incredible because we just celebrated last weekend in New York and my parents were there and I threw the first party of my life and we had a band and he sang one of the songs that he sang when he used to be in the civil rights movement. But I think to best answer your question, my dad told me the story once about how when he was 12, he went into the woods and he was born in like the height of Jim Crow era. And he told himself that no one could give him his freedom, that he would free himself. And at 12, like how crazy is that to think that way? And to be honest, he instilled that in me in terms of taking these risks and doing things against 
what society might expect you to do is like free yourself. So I think he is so proud. He loves watching the show. He was laughing. His favorite mission was the bank mission. He thought it was hilarious. And I think that he's just happy that I'm taking this concept of freedom that he instilled in me and doing something really special with it. Well, I hope everybody checks out the show and uh, keeps checking out all you guys. I uh, hope y'all have amazing more things in front of you. And uh, let's see who this mole is. But thank you guys for the time. And uh, it was great looking up and researching all of you. Best of thank luck you. to you. Appreciate you. Thank you.